Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing whew, one of my last updates whew, for my Pan That palette for 2019 ABH subculture. Before we jump in, uh, yes, my hair is straight. <laughs> I actually straightened it for my Halloween costume. I was Wednesday, and it's 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 been over a year like a year and a half since i've straightened my hair because i have been mainly curly girl for the past year and a half and like i keep looking at myself like this i'm like oh straight hair <laughs> it's not as straight as i used to get it because we got rid of i think we got rid of like the high the high like the heavy duty uh straightener that i used to have that would just like fry my hair straight uh so I don't know. I'm just going to leave it straight until I, you know, I only wash my hair twice a week. So I'm going to have a couple of days of this and then it's going to go back to being curly. So don't freak out. <laughs> so on to subculture. I've made a lot of progress and oh, I'm actually excited. I'm both excited and I'm both really nervous by how much I have left to do, but also how much I've done so far. So before I show you my palette, let's roll the slideshow of all of my updates until this point. And I did not clean it up, but here is my palette now. <laughs> I almost am done with this shade right here. I should clean this up, shouldn't I? I am almost done with New Wave. I kind of was hoping I would have it done before this update, but eh, I'm just not quite there. Um, I did hit, or I'm about to hit, the top of Roxy in the pan there. I've expanded the pan in... Uh, all star and i actually like literally just hit pan in untamed like this morning <laughs> you'll see a lot of progress over here with axis so what i did i'll talk about it in a little bit but i actually made a franken shadow by mixing axis with another shade and i put it here um so i repressed it here i've got some photos i'll show you in just a bit but i repressed it there and i actually used up that whole shade the franken shadow because it was a more black dark shadow so I was using it in my hair I was using it in my eyebrows every day so it did go pretty quickly so today I am actually going to do the same thing with Axis what is left of it I'm going to make a Franken shadow and then hopefully that will be gone by the next update hey guys so I cleaned up the palette so here's a, a better cleaner looking palette and also I did repress the Axis shade with some black shadow from the Sultry palette Ooh, this lipstick is pretty, but it is so drying. <laughs> it's a Kylie lipstick, by the way. <sighs> so, yeah, I've definitely made some great progress in the shades that I was probably struggling the most with, which are Axis and Untamed. Axis, essentially what I did is I made a Franken shadow by mixing this deep blue shade with a matte black from another ABH palette, because I've got, like, six or seven abh palettes and at least two or three of them have a matte black shade so i took a little bit of that shade mixed it in and i used that as my franken shadow for my eyebrows i actually show you how i do my brows with just the eyeshadow in i think it's the second look i did for this video i did do two looks to kind of show you because a lot of people really liked seeing the looks that i was most reaching toward not reaching towards but most drawn to over the month so i did want to include some more looks and those will be coming up in just a little bit but that shade went the franken shade went fairly quickly now it was also an experiment to see if i could franken any of the other shades unfortunately i don't think i'm going to be able to unless it's a shade i am specifically only using for liner or for my eyebrows someone just started mowing their lawn let's hope you don't hear that <laughs> Because it, the formula did feel a bit different in the Franken shadow, even though I just used the alcohol like I normally do, and I just mixed two AB8 shades together, I didn't bring in a different formula. The repressed shade did feel different 
it still worked fine in my brows and in my hair but like if i tried to blend it it's not gonna blend so i did hear I, f I think it was amber f who said she tried to repress or make a franken shadow and then when she tried to actually blend the shades out they don't work well so i don't think the abh formula represses or frankens well for a blending shade if it's a shade that you're just trying to use like a shimmer if you're re if you're applying it with like just your finger or if it's a shade that you're only going to use like in your brows and you're not really blending it then i think it's okay but i'm glad i tested that out with axis first because now i know i really don't want to franken any other shadow because the rest of the shades i am using in you know a more blending fashion i'm actually really happy because now i've officially hit pan in every shade in this palette <laughs> it took me long enough but there's pan in every single pan which is whoo oh, oh. The two looks I have been reaching most for that I have the two tutorials for, I did a nice like pink lemonade kind of look with Roxy and New Wave that looks really really nice. And then this look that I'm wearing on my eyes today which is just Destiny and Untamed and then a Colourpop um, Super Shock shadow all over the lid. It did come out a bit grungy, more grungy than I thought like I was going for but I am trying a new eye primer out so I don't know if it's the eye primer that's a bit different or if I just can't blend today who knows <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into the two looks and I also show you how I do my eyebrows now
So those are the two looks I've been doing most often for this past month. I'm getting a bit nervous about finishing this up in just under two months, but I, I think I can do it. Especially with the holidays coming out, I know I'm going to be using Roxy and All Star a lot for some Thanksgiving and some more like later fall looks. And I think as we get closer to like winter, winter, I'll be a bit more comfortable wearing like looks like this on a daily basis, which would really help me use up Destiny and Untamed. So I think, I think we're doing good. My goal for next time, I really want to use up all of Axis after I make it the Franken Shadow with the black, and I want to finish New Wave and at least get most of Roxy done. Those are my goals. And then I think, with all of that out of the way, I'll only really have four main shades to use up by the end of December. So a quick update for how I'm planning to do like these updates and the finale. This update is the second to last one and then I'm gonna have one in the beginning of the stumber as a regular update. The finale will be going up December 31st which I think is a two Wednesday, Tuesday? I don't know. Whatever day it is that's gonna be the finale whether I finish it or not. I'm really hoping I could finish it but the finale is gonna be going up December 31st and then January 1st the next day I'm gonna have the intro for my 2020 pan that palette because I've already picked it. I'm really excited. It's gonna be something different and it's gonna have a different goal than my past two pan that palettes. So I'm really excited. So that's kind of what you can expect from me and from panning because these it's still gonna be my main panning project for 2020. And I think I'm gonna cut down on the amount of other panning projects I'm doing throughout the year. So it'll be a lot less than like this year. So thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. It's so dry.